Sup, sup, sup. Guys, this is Baseball for FPC, and today I'm bringing you a new series. I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the newly released Bioshock Infinite. And Bioshock just came out, actually. It came out today or a couple hours ago, or whenever I happened to get this video up. And so I've been really excited to play this game. Uh, a little bit about the game, Bioshock Infinite was created, or has been, is currently being created by Irrational Games, and it was published by 2K, and this game was first announced back at E3 of 2010, and so we are finally getting our hands on it, this is, what, like two years later? Now, a little bit of backstory as to why they announced it so early, basically, the first two Bioshock games, Bioshock 1 Bioshock 2, respectively, those were set in the underwater, underwater city of Rapture, and so a lot of people were thinking that the third game in the series would take place in that same setting. And so Irrational Games wanted to basically debunk that theory that Bioshock Infinite was going to take place in Rapture, and so they released all this footage before everybody started hearing rumors about it, because once people start hearing rumors, once there's word going around that, hey, the new Bioshock game is going to be in Rapture, then it's really hard to get that idea out of people's minds. And so, a very smart thing that Irrational did was, they announced it sooner, before everybody else could hear rumors, before basically anything could get leaked to the media, that would basically make them think that Bioshock Infinite was going to take place underwater again. So that's why they announced it so early back in 2010. They wanted to get that idea in people's minds that, hey, this is a new game, this is a new setting, and so uh, that was a really smart idea of them, if, if I do say so myself. Now Bioshock, the first Bioshock, is the highest rated game of all time. According to Metacritic, it's got like a 96, which is just insane. So it's an incredible game, both Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2 I enjoyed, and so, like I said, Bioshock, the highest rated game of all time, and so Ken Levine, who is the uh, creative director, basically, of Bioshock Infinite, he also was the creative director for the first Bioshock. He did not work on Bioshock 2, and so now he's come back for Infinite. So, uh, Bioshock Infinite has been shaping up to be an amazing game. There's been a lot of hype regarding this game. It's been uh, basically promoted to like this godlike status just because of uh, all the footage and stuff that people have seen, and so it's just shaping up really, really well. So a little bit about the story from what I know at least. Basically, this game takes place in 1912 on the floating city of Columbia, and the floating city of Columbia, it basically breaks away from the United States, it secedes, it becomes almost like its own independent nation. And so you play as Booker DeWitt, who's basically a mercenary, and he got into debt with the wrong people, and so those people said, hey, if you go to Columbia, bring us back this girl, Elizabeth, then we will basically wipe away your debt. And so that's the premise for the story, you're going up there to find and bring back this strange girl, Elizabeth, who, if you've heard anything about Bioshock Infinite, you've heard about Elizabeth. And so, you're supposed to go up there, find Elizabeth, bring her back, but of course, it's not just a simple snatch and grab. All kinds of things go wrong, and you start to discover the mysteries uh, surrounding Columbia, and why is Elizabeth up there, what's going on, all this cool stuff, and so... That basically sets you up for the premise of the game. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'll be doing a playthrough, like I said. Most likely not a walkthrough, but a playthrough basically showing you uh, gameplay, showing you highlights, different scenes and stuff like that. So hopefully you'll get a, a good overview of the game itself. And so I really hope you guys enjoy this series and stick around for what's to come. So thanks for watching this introduction video, and until next time, later.